So the quote here this week is uh, when we're looking at carpal tunnel as a condition or problem, obviously you're going to want to be considering the muscles, the balance of the muscles. Anytime we have front and back of our body or two sides of it, there's sort of like different balances and muscles uh, related to the size of it. So like, you know, the, the thighs are quite a bit bigger than the hamstrings, so there's a bit of a difference. You'd want the, them to be sort of stronger than the back. And in, in here, the ratio is pretty close. You just want a little bit more strength on the flexors than the extensors. But from the quote here from this medical doctor, they actually say that a, a large majority of carpal tunnel problems are actually a neck problem from the nerves exiting the neck. So if we take a look at the neck from the front, these big bundle of nerves, these yellow nerves here, these are the nerves that come out between the bones in your spine and the neck and they actually travel down into your arm to control your arm and your hand. So very often there's something called a double crush syndrome when people have carpal tunnel types of problems. So there is a problem in the neck as well as in the carpal tunnel where the nerve passes underneath this, this, little, um, this little band of tissue there. That it can be compromised there, but it can also be compromised here. So obviously getting your neck optimized through in its function through chiropractic care is vitally important in this case. But there's also some specific things you can do with the hand. And I'm going to explain some of that because... Um, one of the worst things you can do, if there's a muscle imbalance and then you just brace it and you have it not moving at all, that'll actually make imbalances even worse because you're still typing and this kind of thing, so you're still flexing and it's making these imbalances out of, out of character. So as you've seen some of my other videos, I talk about using the opposite muscle to help a certain side of the body. So I'm going to show you a, 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 just a, a live demo of a, a hard-working um, chiropractic assistant working away at the computer keyboard and I'm going to give her some things that we can do to sort of brace but not make it an inflexible brace and some other exercises, I'll show you that in a second and we'll look at that and that's another way we can, other than you know getting massage which is important and everything else, but uh, things like um, you know rehabbing these kind of things and trying to get the balance back. So let's have a look at that part there. Okay, so what we're going to be doing, this is, it comes from Dr. John Bergman in the States, and it's a great way to kind of relieve the tension on the carpal tunnel nerve. So right here in this area, the, the tunnel goes across here, and the nerve comes underneath that. And so anytime there's excess tension, most people are doing desk work, and they're overworking these muscles and underworking the opposite side. But if you just need to get some relief and just get the pressure off the nerve so that it can heal properly, the trick is you're going to use some electrician tape. And the reason we're using electrician tape is because it doesn't uh, pull hair off sort of thing. So what I'm going to get her to do is uh, touch your finger and pinky and your thumb together. So there it is there. You just bridge that side. So you're not going over the wrist because that's going to cut off the circulation. You're actually up where the, the, the fleshy parts are of the thumb and the eminence over there. So we're just going like that. I'm not really pulling it tight. I'm just kind of looping it around and just going like that. So now she can open her hand. And as you can see, it's still maintaining the tunnel right in through there. So these are still approximated. So she could go about her day, type, and do whatever she needs to do. And most people have the discomfort at nighttime, so you could actually put this on just for a few hours before you go to bed or, or while you're in bed. You could actually wear it at night. Sometimes people say, make sure you don't make it too tight at nighttime because that can actually cut off things, so the circulation. But just put it on loosely just so it holds that. Most, most of the time you wouldn't have to do it more than like a week, maybe seven to ten days consecutively and that will give enough relief there that the inflammation will go down and there will be less discomfort. And then you, when you add in the exercise on the opposite side, which I'll show you in a second with the elastic band, that's the trick to making the carpal tunnel go away and of course always making sure that the neck and the nerves coming from there are being well addressed by your chiropractor. So now this is actually the the most technically advanced uh, carpal tunnel exercise piece of equipment is actually a number 32 elastic. So what we're actually going to do, all the, there's always a muscle imbalance and the worst thing you can do is actually brace this. So most people will put a brace on here so this, this will be, you won't be moving anything. What you need to do is actually strengthen the side that's gone weak or the, where the imbalance is you need to strengthen the opposite side. So the discomfort is here, we actually want to strengthen the muscles on the back. So the way you do that is you're going to do a rosebud like this. So I'm going to put the elastic and make it like pointy. There you go. So the elastic is going to go here and I'll turn that that way. So now what you want to do, you're rosebudding and then you're going to open it up like a claw. And you actually want to separate all the fingers like this. That's pretty good. And then close it down again. So all the fingers should come out like a claw. So you're not doing this. You're actually keeping that claw sort of, all of these have a bit of a curve on the digits there. 
like that, and then close down. So doing this repeatedly, what you want to do, this is actually working the muscles on the back, as she can attest to. <laughs> so you're actually going to want to do that regularly, actually almost till you fatigue this out. Give yourself a bit of a break, put it back on again, and then you can do it again. So you're going to be doing that regularly throughout the day to work the muscles on the opposite side of where the problem is, because there's always this imbalance, and you want to strengthen where the imbalance is gone. So these guys are gone weak, you want to strengthen these to maintain the balance there. So you're going to be doing rosebud to claw, rosebud to claw, and you just keep doing that regularly through the day, so that's part of the rehabilitation for the carpal tunnel.